It's not every day, that we see a motorcycle brand, reach 100 years old. Especially in the European continent. Which means this is the perfect moment, to create something, that has never been done before. Imagine having an unlimited budget, to build a fantastic cafe racer. It sounds very interesting, doesn't it? And that's precisely what you are going to see, in the next minutes. One of the most impressive Moto Guzzi's, I have ever seen. Welcome, to Racer TV. Like I said earlier, a very impressive machine. If you think, this Moto Guzzi can be appreciated by the looks and sound, just wait until you know the modifications list. But we will get to that in a minute. Some of you probably already figured it out, why this motorcycle's build quality looks so perfect. But in case you are thinking, if this is a new model released by Moto Guzzi? The answer is, no. This, is the latest work, of Black Track Motors, from Luxembourg. Which means it is also the creation of a great designer, who most of you probably still remember. Sasha Lakic, the man who created a few masterpieces on two wheels especially this one, which is still considered by many, one of the best cafe racers based on the Honda CX. And six years later, it still looks awesome. The most curious thing about this Black Track Motors first project, is that the CX model, was not Sasha's first choice. The Moto Guzzi, was on the top of its list. Which means this project, is the fulfillment of a six-year-old wish. And I think he really nailed it. If you are a cafe racer purist, then you are going to have to love this Guzzi. And why? My answer needs only one number. 175 kilograms. 386 pounds. Believe it or not, this is this motorcycle's dry weight. It sounds impossible, right? And this is where things, become even more interesting. Here is how the project started. Moto Guzzi Grisso 1200. I know it is hard to see any resemblance. Apparently, only the engine and mono swing arm, seem to be factory original. But like I said, only apparently. Because inside the engine, are now two bigger pistons, with almost 1400 cubic centimeters. This means it now has a higher compression ratio, and 136 horsepower. For some people, it may not sound like a lot. But to put you in perspective, the power and weight ratio of this machine, is even higher, than a Suzuki Hayabusa. And this my friends, is a very impressive achievement. The key question is, how they made this beautiful machine so light. As usual, 
When someone wants the impossible, you've got to find the best. Which on this case, are the brothers Vittoriano, and Gianfranco Guareschi, from Guareschi Moto, located in Italy. Thanks to their racing experience and vast knowledge, Guareschi Moto, developed a tubular steel frame for Moto Guza twins, with a track-specific geometry. And how good are their frames? Let's just say, unbelievably light. As we are used to see on Black Track Motors creations, all the components, have to be top-of-the-shelf items. And on this case, fully adjustable Olin's suspensions, Brembo brakes, magnesium wheels, and a full titanium exhaust system from Zard, which was designed specifically for this project. You probably already know, that this impressive list goes on. But now it's time to talk about these beautiful lines. According to Sasha, the design approach began by what he calls, looking to the past, to design the future. And personally, I can confirm that. Because the first moment I saw it, I immediately captured the flavor, from one of the most iconic guzzes of the past. As you see, the resemblance between the fuel tanks, and also this connection with the seat, are evident. Sasha explains it as a contemporary reinterpretation, of the old Moto Guzzi Le Mans. I think he was also very clever, on choosing a minimalist approach to the bodywork. Because this is a subtle way, of highlighting not only the frame, but especially the beautiful engine. And for a perfect rear end, nothing like a small, but very nice cafe racer rear cowl. One important detail I haven't said yet, is that all the body panels, are made from carbon fiber, which means they are 6 kilograms lighter, compared with the fiberglass version. In other words, this is one of the options, for the future owners of this 10 unit limited edition, which was named, Cento, as homage to the brand's 100 year anniversary. And I should say, what a beautiful way, of paying a tribute. Without a doubt, this Moto Guzzi, is the most pure and beautiful cafe racer ever conceived, by Black Track Motors. And considering the original principles, of what a cafe racer should be, or have, I really don't see, how to surpass this one. At least, until the day Sasha Lackick decides to do so. watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.